hey guys welcome back to another video if you guys are new to this channel as always make sure you guys subscribe down there and hit that bell hope you guys are having a great week i know i'm having a great week stay make sure you guys stay positive as always yeah let's get into what we're getting into today so today i am reviewing this 2016 bmw 340 i m sport take a look at it it's super duper clean look at that fresh leds right there shout out to my guy uh jared for letting me do a quick review on this thing but um yeah guys uh, before we get started we're actually be doing a quick little clean on this car before we give you guys the full review on this thing we will be having a test drive too so stay tuned hope you guys enjoy this all right guys so take a look at this thing uh we did a not, not a crazy crazy wash but i know he needed the wash so we went there and got it done. But yeah, there's some fresh LEDs on there. And then look at, take a look at the grill too. I like the grill a lot. This is a 3.0 liter single turbo. And then going along with the wheels, these are 18 inch uh, wheels. They're stock. And this is an M Sport too. I know he did actually for horsepower on this thing, stock wise is 320, but he actually did get a tune on it. So what are you running about now? So right now it's just a downpipe. Mm -hmm. All you need is a downpipe for this. And I have a boot mode. Uh, tune so i'm only going on the what is it i'm going on the uh, off the shelf tune it's only pushing 410 420 somewhere oh, okay yeah that's not bad that's not bad and you had a couple of big races too right with a few other cars SCIs, or no guys hellcats yeah. hellcats were pretty even they could probably pull off on me even longer mm -hmm. but and this, this car is pretty light too you know and i mean this this car does have the same engine as a supra that's a that's always a plus right there right can take a look at the back right here. Look at, look at those. For this, keep it a sleeper. Look at this. There's look at that. No, no modifications on the body. Mm -hmm. Keep it clean. Except the the dual oh, the except tips. That, except that we don't count that. The tips are not stock, but other than that, everything looks pretty pretty clean. No spoiler adding. Yeah, no spoiler. Horsepower. Mm -hmm. And then coming along this side, you got the gas cap right there. In order to get the gas cap out, is it just pushing? This is easy. Just push. Yeah, just push in, right? Just and push. then it pops open. Gas-wise, it takes. What do, you, what do you normally say it puts in here? Like 93. 93. Uh, what does it run to the to the gallon? Right now, I only get. I can get 21 miles per gallon. Oh, 21. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's really good. All right, now let's take a look at the inside. Man, the thing I love about this car is the interior. The interior is nuts. Here you got plastic going around here. Then you got the nice yes. leather. Got a nice um, kind of like a tan saddle brown going along here. And then you got your controls right here. This is your child safety lock, uh, power controls right there, and then also your window control, your mirror controls on there as well. Sound system, how do you think the sound system in here is good? Is Pretty it? Pretty good, Harman Kardon sound system. That thing's nice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it should be really nice. Then. Yeah. yeah. Then look down here. Um, you got more features. Obviously, you got the power um, recliner, all that. And then um, these, it does come with seated heats too. Yeah, it does right? come with seated heats, nice. not ventilated seats. Not so. ventilated. Kind of so, sucks in the summer when the when the yeah it gets, gets nice really and sticky hot, so yeah it <laughs> gets nice and sticky but uh yeah, other than that and especially this is 2016 so I mean you can see the leather's really holding up good I mean you know there's no trouble we don't really see any crazy creases or anything and take a look at the back right here same goes with the back I mean normal panel two speakers going along here how do you think legroom is uh, oh it's kind of tight to be honest I mean it's not too bad oh I drive back so. Yeah, I mean, if this thing was up a little bit more, it shouldn't be too crazy. And then also you have more controls down here for climate control. Also, you have the sunroof there too, and then more controls for the lighting over here as well. So I really like this car a lot. But going in here, you got the gas pedal there, brake, then your dead pedal, and then also um, you can change your, this this car does have um, uh, daytime running lights and all those good features in there and then you have uh turn signals right there wipers wiper controls and then this car is push to start and then also you have your controls in here you can put in sport mode traction control and then parking brake all those good features center console center console is nice again like i like the leather a lot on this thing and then also your handbrake right there of course and then you have your radio and hazards and then your climate controls in the middle as well and then some more storage in there so then that yeah, i mean it has nice touches you know you got the m right there of course and then same goes with the stock wheels and then coming along to this side right here uh, same goes with controls i mean leg room again i mean it's not gonna be crazy because you know this is a this is a technically called sports car you know 
So, and then you have your glove box right here. Say, so, hey, what's your experience? So you've been owning it for how long? It's so about, about to be like two years. Two years? Oh, okay. That's not bad. And you enjoy it a lot, right? It's it's yeah, good it's for a, a daily every everything. Yeah, a daily yeah. driver, that's all I use it for. You know, when mm -hmm. a car wants to pull up on me. Right, yeah, have a little I'm fun like, on them. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll put in Sport Plus. Right. <laughs> but other than that, I'm just, I'll mostly drive it in Eco. Oh, okay. save gas. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that, that is a nice part. It does have eco mode in there too. So, I mean, he's not going to be burning a ton, a ton of gas. All right, guys. Now, of course, taking a look at the engine. Last and final. I know you guys have been waiting to look at it. I mean, there's nothing really crazy on it. It's, it's pretty much stock except for that little intake right there. But other than that. Yeah, this agency power intake. Makes it like yeah, it makes a whistle it. noise as yep. you're going. So it makes it actually you be able to hear, hear the turbo a little bit more, yeah, which is nice. Definitely louder. See that turbo right there. Yeah, you see right in there. By the way, this is catless. It doesn't have any catalytic converter, mm -hmm. so it'll kind of get that smell. But it has fumes. the muffler and yeah, resonator, muffler, all that. All that. Yeah. Not. So. I'm not changing any of that. Of course. Yeah. Unless I want to get an aftermarket exhaust. That's the only time I'm changing that. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm not touching anything. Stuff yeah. Here. Looks clean though, for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Now, last and final time to get into this test drive i'm excited to see how this thing runs how it feels on the road and also maybe hear some cracks and some bobbles of course and maybe get to hear that little turbo in there too and a nice thing i like about this is nice touch is that you guys can see kind of like the hologram right there you guys can see like the the speed which is always a nice touch i know a lot of bmws have that of course a lot of newer cars too all right now we're on drive and you're in comfort mode right now so nah. Go ahead and change that. Yeah, we got Eco Pro, we got yeah. Sport, and then double tap it for Sport Plus. So we're going to Sport Plus right now. Yep. Sport right Plus. There. You guys can see right there. Sport Plus. So we're hitting the road now. Turning feels good too. I could, def I could definitely feel that turbo since I pressed on just a little bit. Oh yeah, I heard that for sure. I'll probably go this way. Yeah, this thing, you can, oof, it tugs quick, for sure. K band. I mean, as you guys can see, you got paddle shifters right here, too, as always, and then, yeah. I mean, definitely from doing the, doing the comfort mode to the sport, I definitely noticed a difference, for sure. Yeah, this thing's very responsive, kicks off quick. Don't you really feel that turbo though when you hit it? Oh yeah, yeah there's barely sure. any lag on it. It's Yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy, I love it. honestly. Do the wheels ever spin out too sometimes? Uh, the wheels, if I'm in Sport Plus mode, it really doesn't. I mean, sometimes it will, yeah. but there's no traction on it, so. We'll crack this if you can Yeah, it usually it'll, it'll spin out. I mean, I'll need some like, what, new tires, but I mean, I'm not too worried about that, right. you know? Like I said, this is a daily driver for me, guys, so I don't really do anything much to it. Right, yeah. I only tuned it just for fun. Oh, holy. Oh, yeah, I have to What do you that. think? <laughs> what do you it's think? Nuts. It's nuts? Yeah, it takes nuts. <laughs> the intake, yep. I'm telling you, in the front, the intake helps out a lot for sure yeah, it helps out a lot but yeah meanwhile I don't, passing I'm, the police station while doing this <laughs> review but i mean but yeah as i'm driving okay. out there's no weird smells or anything so everything it just seems like it's running very very good you know yep so and obviously as you keep up with your oil changes and all of that it should run you know really really good and last a long long time while you guys are at it you might as well get one of these uh, yeah, no, I got you guys need one of these. <laughs> Unit R3, you guys need one of these. If you're passing by a police station like that one, like back there, yeah, you're gonna need this. Yeah. You're definitely gonna need that. guys i forgot to mention i do also have xhp so what that is is a transmission tune so um my 
my transmission responds faster to shifting. So it, it does shift faster and the torque limiter is gone. So, you know, it pushes all its power, all, all it can at, like, at once. So, yeah. I don't know what it's like being on passenger, guys, so... <laughs> sounds amazing on the road i know you'll see a couple clips in there too doing a couple pulls but there's a lot of pops and crackles uh sounds really really good downshifting too uh everything's very very responsive this car you know that, there's no weird smells to it like i said so it smells really good and he's taking very good care of it yeah he's gonna give us a few exhaust clips to end this video so i hope you guys enjoy this <laughs> car sounds amazing and i hope you guys like this review if you guys have a 340i or whatever or bmw anything hopefully you guys have some fun with it you know tune it do all those good stuff so hope to see you guys in the next video peace peace, peace.